Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, uh, greetings, greetings. This is, uh, what is it? Thursday morning. Wonderful, wonderful Thursday morning. And uh, you know what? I'm excited. I'm really excited today. Um, I just got home from work. I uh, just put my last midnight shift in. Last graveyard shift. Last third shift, whatever you want to call it. Just put my last one in the Caldwell Water Plant today. Now, I do have one more shift to work, to work before I'm completely done with Caldwell. Um, it's a first shift. I'll be working on Saturday, and that'll be the last weekend I work. Well, you know, there's always going to be a weekend that you have to work here and there. Things have to get done, and sometimes they have to get done during certain periods, and that's just how it is. I've shaved, completely clean shaven. My double chin looks terrible. <laughs> I don't know why Ratchney likes it, but she does. Hi, Ratchney. But uh, anyways, uh, whatever makes her happy, I guess. I can't lose this soul patch, yo, because then all my power be gone. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, what made me so excited was um, my boss at work uh, comes in and he's always telling me, uh, since he found out I got the job, oh, they got stuff going wrong there they're not telling you about and all this, you know. And like he's trying to scare me out of the job or something, I don't know. I'm just trying to warn you, he says. Well, you know, he's saying they're keeping stuff from me. The uh, village administrator there, Charlie is his name. Uh, isn't that a nice name? But uh, he, uh, he's he been sending me correspondences between uh, the old superintendent himself and uh, the Ohio EPA. And, uh, yeah, there are a lot of problems there at that plant. Uh, and there's right now there's a list of six things that they want done by a certain date and those dates are getting really close and those things aren't done and uh, <clears throat> you know when I got my interview with Charlie he's the one that interviewed me and hired me he told me that whatever the EPA wants I'm to make sure they get it and he's got no problem with anything that the EPA wants that uh, my only problem might be the guys at the plant. Uh, they tend to not want to uh, to have new things brought up on them and, and that. And I understand that, you know, working at plants for years, you know, uh, you get used to a certain way of doing things and you don't want to change. It's worked this great for the last 30 years. Why can't we, you know, why can't we just keep doing it that way? Well, you can't. And that's just how it is. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, you know, it makes me think about it, you know. And, and I don't really get excited about it. I'm nervous about it most of the time. But then when I think about these problems and knowing what they are, I've seen the correspondences and I, I know what the situation is. Uh, I've looked over the plant pretty well. Yeah. All it does is makes me happy and excited because I used to work for a company that uh, that's what we did. We took uh, both industrial and uh, municipal water and wastewater plants who were out of compliance, who the EPA was coming down on and, <clears throat> and fixed it. This plant is by far the biggest challenge. I think that I've ever been met with but it excites me it's nearly impossible and I think that's great because I'm the guy that can do it <laughs> but uh, you know right now I'm saying that and you know maybe a week or two or a month or two from now I'll be going oh god I hate that job if there's anything that I can see that I might hate about that job is right now where I live 
is an hour and 15 minutes away. So a lot of driving. I'm not too happy about that. You're giving up, you know, you're giving up three hours of your day just to drive to work and back, basically. And, you know, I do have a home life, too. Uh, and that's that cuts into it. That's hours you don't get paid for and you're paying for gas. I'll take my motorcycle as much as I can, but they're kind of dangerous roads to be on. So yeah, it's, it's not quite a joy ride. I mean, it might be for some of you crotch rockety kind of guys. You might love it. Uh, but for me, I prefer a nice, easy ride. But uh, anyway, there's no easy way to get to Caldwell uh, or Caddis. I mean, I'm sorry. Caldwell is where I live. <clears throat> um, so uh, there's no easy way to get to Caddis. But, uh, you know, maybe eventually we might move. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. They, uh, Charlie says there's no recommendation. I don't have to move. Uh, so I guess we, we can take our time. We just bought this house. Well, I'm still paying for it. Uh, you know, so, you know, moving is not going to be the easiest thing for us to do. However, the clubhouse is 25 minutes closer. So that takes 25 minutes off of the drive each way. That ain't bad. And, uh, yeah, and that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have my hands full. I'm going to be real busy. I'm going to try to make a lot of videos anyway, in spite of that. And uh, I'm also going to try to get a lot of things done around this house. This house needs a coat of paint, something terrible. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. My garage roof is leaking. I need to figure out why. Get that fixed. So, uh, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share this day with you. This wonderful, wet and rainy Thursday morning. It's, uh, it's a nice, uh, about 72 degrees out, and only about seven o'clock. That ain't bad. And uh, let you know that uh, one of us out here is just boiling over with excitement right now happy as a lark so uh thanks for watching hope you all have a good day